Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. I'm pretty excited about it because my girl Ivy is sitting right here and then Aries is in the water and today is the first day that we're gonna try to feed both of them in their enclosure. So I've got a couple pigs thought out. So hopefully Ivy is gonna take it here. She's on land, which is kind of ideal to be honest with you. And Aries is in the water, so they're separated out. Now Aries has never had a little baby pig before. So this is gonna be his first pig. So hopefully he'll eat first time in this enclosure closure and hopefully I will eat. So let's go ahead and see what she wants to do. Come on Ivy, you want to try to eat girl? Come on girl, you got it, you got it. Come on, come on, ah, Ivy's got it now. Whoo, that's perfect. And the fact that she's up on land right now is really good because I really want to keep these guys separate. I don't want them to be together. Now, will Aries eat? I'm not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and see if he wants to take a little baby pig. All right, so I'm up in the cage. Ivy is right here. And Aries is actually in the water. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm going to just try to dip it like this and see if he wants to come up and smell it. And he's starting to look at it now. He's starting to look at it. Let's see what he's gonna do. There he got it! He has it! Aries has it! Oh my gosh, that is awesome! Oh doggy, I didn't know if Aries was gonna take it. So Aries now has it under the water. Here, Ivy is over here. She's ready to eat over here. It worked. Both my anacondas are eating in the same enclosure. This is freaking epic. Now I'm gonna have to keep a really close eye on him. Cause Aries, I'm gonna leave in the water, let him eat like this. The first time he's probably ever eaten in the water his entire life. So I've gotta keep an eye on him. Ivy is over here. She's doing really well. So I just have to keep an eye so that if one of them finishes first, the other one doesn't go over to their other meal. But wow, what a way to start the day. I hope that you guys have all your problems pushed aside because this is freaking epic. It's always really nerve wracking. You know, Aries has never eaten in the water before, much like Ivy hadn't before this. So he hasn't even come up for a breath yet. So I'm sitting there watching him. It's been like 10, 15 minutes. He's just coiled around it. I'm hoping he'll come up for a breath soon and figure out how to eat in the water. Finally came up for a breath of air and now he's back down kind of searching you know again mapping that animal out what a relief I'm telling you what I was stressing I'm like what is he doing down there he can't eat that pig but you can see right now he's literally searching and mapping it chances are he'll come up for a breath of air two or three more times before it actually starts but this is cool it's like that natural instinct of an anaconda wait a second he might be going for it right now oh I don't know I what is he gonna do it Oh, he's so close. I have a feeling he's either gonna go for it or he's gonna, again, go up for that last breath of air before he starts eating. Wow, what an amazing thing to see. But again, it seems like Eric's finally figured out how to eat underwater, which is pretty awesome. There it goes, Ivy actually took it. She's got it in her mouth, but oh, she just let it go. What an absolute bummer. She is just starting to go into shed, so I hope that she'll go back to the pig in a second, but uh, I hope she's gonna eat this one. I thought for sure she was taking it. Ivy's been searching around for like the last five or 10 minutes while well, Aries is just sitting in the water doing nothing. So I hope that she's gonna go and take it because it's starting to stress me out. I don't want these guys to interact while they're both eating. So uh, hopefully she's gonna finally decide to eat. And there she goes, she finally took it. Ivy has got the pig now. Now she looks like she's just gonna absolutely crush it. Again, Aries is still being weird and not eating yet, but uh, hopefully he's gonna take it soon. So Ivy finished her first pig and Aries hasn't even started. So I'm gonna give her a second pig just to get her preoccupied so that she doesn't mess with Aries at all. Come on, girl. There she is, she took the second one. Perfect. 
great. Now this is gonna keep her preoccupied for the next 15 or 20 minutes and hopefully Aries will crush that pig before she's done and she won't go bother him. I mean, that's the hardest part about feeding two animals in one enclosure. You gotta always keep them preoccupied so they don't mess with one another. Aries took it right now. He's curling around, he's got it. That's perfect. I mean, you see him kind of rolling around in there. That's exactly how Ivy started. This is the first time he's done it. It's absolutely incredible. It's not a really large pig, so he should be able to crush this relatively quickly. How awesome is this to see two anacondas eat together? While those anacondas are feeding, I'm gonna take a little break and feed a bunch of other snakes really quick. Uh, starting with Night Fury. Again, we'll do this little ball training, see if he comes around. Come on. Whoa! Woo Come on, buddy. All right, here we go. There we go. Good job, Night Fury. Woo I tell you what, he definitely woke up quick. When he woke up, he was ready to eat. Well, the anacondas are definitely making some really good progress. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. But you know my girl Perdita here just shut out. She is looking amazing, and I think she wants a little rabbit. Come on, little girl. Come on, baby. Ah, perfect. I love the way she strikes. No fierceness at all. She just kind of goes, thanks, Dad. She takes it. What a great animal. And that's going to be a really nice meal for her. Here comes Ivy. As Aries is finishing up, Ivy, in her normal sense, is going right through the waterfall and into the water. Almost like she wants to investigate what's been happening here. She's in there, she's sniffing around. It's so cool and Aries is still underwater. It's been over a half an hour. It is stressing me out. I don't know what he's waiting for to come up to take his first breath, but I sure hope he does it soon. I mean, he's obviously in good shape here, but holy moly, this is a stressful thing. And here comes Ivy coming over to see what Aries is doing. a whole bunch of snakes but I'm not gonna bore you with a lot of them to be totally honest with you because I know we have a lot to do today and we're really excited about those anacondas but I am going to feed Sunrise here because she hasn't had a rabbit in a while and she's always much more excitable when it comes to rabbits I do feed her pigs every now and then but whenever I feed her a rabbit she is on it she is such an amazing animal and she certainly is getting big looks like Sunfire is definitely ready for her food come on girl come on sweetie all the way up all the way up all the way up all the way up there you go Ah, you got it, girl. Whew. I literally don't know, again, what's going on here. Ivy is all over the place. Now, Aries just kind of shot away. I think he got scared because he's like, what is Ivy trying to do over here? This is just a bizarre dance that I, I've never seen before. It's so cool. And Aries now is going on 37 minutes without a breath of air and doesn't seem to be in any hurry to come up to take a breath. Wild, I've never seen anything like this. And finally, it looks like Aries might be coming up for a breath. Nope, he's going back down. What is this guy thinking? I think he's gonna come up finally. He's starting to make his way, starting to make his way. What's he gonna do? Yep, it looks like he's finally gonna come up for a breath, and there it is, whew! I tell you what, 38 minutes later, guys, he took his first breath of air. Aries is done eating, Ivy is done eating. The first time we fed both of our anacondas in the same enclosure at the same time, whew! My heart rate has been up for the last half hour or so, guys, so it is done, success, that was awesome.
some baby colubrids hatching right now. These are actually just a bunch of Abbott's Okatees. We got one little baby sticking his head out over here. And of course, these are Abbott's scaleless Okatees. We'll put them in the water here and just get a little bit of a look at what these things look like. You know that these scaleless always get that vermiculite on them and it kind of makes them not as pretty. But once you put them in the water a little bit and all that, vermiculite comes out. Oh, dog it. I tell you, they're amazing. And Abbott's Okatees scaleless are crazy. I always say it. And I'm so happy we're having a good year with them because they are so absolutely dope. So uh, for a while there, I was starting to get worried. First few clutches we hatched out, we didn't have that great of odds, but the odds are finally starting to work out now. And we're starting to produce some of these crazy beautiful animals. This is a wild clutch right here. This is actually a Tessera heifer scaleless bred to a hypo motley scaleless. And the thing that's interesting about this is you'll start to see albino stripe corns, right? So what this is telling me is that the Tessera that is actually an incomplete dominant is actually allelic with scaleless as well as we have some motley stuff in here too. Like this is a motley and this is an aneurysmic motley right here, meaning that it's also allelic to motley because we know striped and motley are allelic. And then we just have a bunch of really crazy scaleless stuff in here. We have the hypo motley scaleless. We have albino motley scaleless. We have all kinds of cool scaleless stuff. And then take a look at this one right here. This is actually kind of a hybrid type of a thing in the sense that it's a tessera scaleless, but it's also kind of got some stripe stuff. So it's kind of like a striped tessera scaleless corn snake. And as I pulled it out, I sexed it. It's a boy. So we're definitely going to hang on to this one raise up because it's going to be an absolutely amazing thing because now that we know that to Sarah is a Lee like to scale us as well as Motley we can breed this to Motley scale us stripe scale us all kinds of stuff and get all kinds of cool animals not to mention we also found out that this guy is also heifer albino and aneurythristic as well so we have a lot of stuff going on this clutch was crazy cool we are almost caught up on unboxing another shirt this one's a large which is what I like shed happens Brush it off. Brush it oh, off. This looks like it's for oh, me. Oh, that's gotta be for you. Yeah, that's not that's oh, not for me. Sorry. That's too bad. It's too bad that it's for this you. This is it's true because it's Zeusy and he sheds a lot. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have international standards, so this is uh, from somewhere outside the US. Let's see what we got. There's a little note in there. Oh, this is my buddy. He finally got this, dude. He said he was gonna send me this shirt uh, from the UK. This is it's a super dope logo, dude. Thank you so much. He actually, we did a virtual tour with him a while ago. Okay. Uh, so thank you so much, seriously. You, you're awesome. I follow him on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description to his Instagram. Um, his, uh, let's see here. Hope this shirt finds you okay. I've been um, a fan for such a long time. Had a great time on the virtual tour. Thanks so much, Adam. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you so much. Hope you're staying safe over there. And uh, I do appreciate you. You're awesome. Also, he has a YouTube channel that's dope. So there you go. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it. So how awesome was that guys? Aries and Ivy eating their first meals together. Absolutely incredible. I had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, here's a feeding playlist you guys can run through and see a whole bunch of them. Right up here in the corner, you can subscribe to my podcast channel. Wednesday's checking in, Friday's adult only with Noah's choices. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog channel. Please turn your post notifications on. Remember to have an absolutely wonderful day and be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you tomorrow.